The traumatic brain injury assessment can be summarized by the story of the trauma spike in the brain, with him telling the assessed man about what went wrong in his life. Patients with these injuries to the scalp, skull, or brain show a change in level of consciousness, or LOC, the delta halo, which was caused by the three-faced mask, who represents the personality changes that may be seen. Amnesia can also occur, the memory eraser, which hit the brain, and increased intracranial pressure may develop, the up-arrow pressure cooker cranium that the brain fell into after being hit. Patients with traumatic brain injury may complain of diplopia, the double vision of eyes which helped him spot a total babe. This brain fell in love with the model posturing, representing characteristic posturing that may be seen with this disorder. Different locations of injury display different symptoms, and a notable type of fracture is a basilar skull fracture. The Bass Sailor proposing to this model using a ring sign, as the halo or ring sign can be used to look for leaking CSF. There is always a potential for intracranial bleeding with these injuries, the brain bleeding, after it turned to drinking blood after the model was stolen away. So in summary, traumatic brain injury assessment findings include a change in LOC, personality changes, and amnesia. Increased intracranial pressure may occur with diplopia and posturing. Basilar skull fractures can happen, and halo or ring sign is needed to find a CSF leak. There's a potential for intracranial bleeding. Trauma Spike Brain is being assessed by his assessment therapist. How did you get all this trauma in your life? Asked the assessment. Well, it all started when I hit my head and developed this delta halo, started the brain. I don't know why the three-faced mask decided to hit me with that mind eraser, but when he did, I got so dizzy, my cranium fell into a pressure cooker. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're at it, check out the rest of our head injury Picmonics. We've got everything you'll need to remember. Everything from traumatic brain injury assessment, increased intracranial pressure, or ICP, assessment and interventions, types of head injuries, and much, much more. You can lock down everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research-proven to increase exam scores.